We will have time limits today. I do not intend on spending eight plus hours here uh, to listen to people rant about the same thing that we've heard already. It's my understanding that the author of the bill is not here. And there's some speculation that the whole reason for this bill is because the author of the bill is running for another office right now and the election is next week. The vote on this bill is not going to happen until after the election, of which has no concern for this committee at this time. From April of 2016 to April of 2017, 33 head of cattle, 27 sheep, 44 dogs, and two donkeys were confirmed to be killed through wolf depredation in Wisconsin. Congress isn't acting in the best interest of Wisconsinites in passing legislation to delist the gray wolf, so we must act in their stead. I just don't understand why everyone hates wolves. AB 712 has Wisconsin pouting in the corner like a spoiled child who's upset because he's not getting his way. Wisconsin's annual wolf damage payments have risen in conjunction with rising wolf populations. In 2017, the state paid out $196,397.34 to farms, individuals, and hunters for damage done to them by wolves. Um, this bill is a serious bill. It is not a political ploy. The wolf is a beautiful animal. It belongs on the landscape. And you're going to hear people testify in support of this bill. They believe the same thing. There's a thousand wolves in the minimum count that the Department of Natural Resources does. And that is not how many wolves are in Wisconsin. Anecdotally, there's far more than that, double or triple that population. How do you envision this actually playing out in Wisconsin uh, if we're not going to enforce uh, any of our state or federal laws? It, it seems to me that, it, that we would go from the wolf management program that you're hoping to have to essentially a free-for-all where anybody can kill a wolf under any circumstances in any numbers and uh, not have any enforcement in the state of Wisconsin. I'm just hoping you can uh, kind of explain how you think that's going to play out. Endangered Species Act was never set up for perpetual protection. And that's what we've become, perpetual protectionism. 